it's time to focus on security. One of the simplest but most important steps is to enable the firewall to protect your system from unwanted network access. Why do you need a firewall? First, to block unauthorized incoming connections. Second, to prevent network attacks. Third, to improve system security. Linux is already secure, but enabling a firewall adds an extra layer of protection, especially if you're using a laptop on public Wi-Fi. So let's get started. But before we start, if you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you like this video and it was helpful for you, please support with your like, I appreciate it very much. Without further ado, let's get started. Step 1. Check if the firewall is installed. Most ARC-based distros, including Cache OS, use UFW, uncomplicated firewall, as the recommended firewall tool. To check if it's installed, open a terminal and type pacman space dash capital QI space UFW. If you see package details, it means UFW is installed. If you get an error saying package not found, install it by running sudo space pacman space dash capital S space UFW. Step 2. Enable and start the firewall. To enable firewall, run sudo space systemctl space enable space two dashes now space UFW and press enter. This ensures that UFW starts immediately and automatically at every boot. Step 3. Check firewall status. To confirm that UFW is active, type sudo space UFW space status space verbose. If it says active, the firewall is running and protecting your system. If it says inactive, run sudo space UFW space enable. Step 4. Configure basic firewall rules. By default, UFW blocks all incoming connections and allows outgoing traffic. But if you need to allow specific applications or services, you can customize the rules. I'm gonna put a few different commands on the screen so you can try them out. To block all incoming connections, which is default setting for best security, to allow SSH connections, it is important if you're using remote access, to allow a specific port, for example, a web port on port 80, allow a specific application, for example, COPS for printers. Now your firewall is active and protecting your system. Step 5. Set UFW to log activity. If you want to monitor block connections and potential security threats, enable login by running this command. sudo space UFW space login space on. You can check the logs later using sudo space journal ctl space dash u space ufw space two dashes no dash pager. Now final check and recap. To make sure everything is set up correctly, run this command sudo space ufw space status space numbered. There we go, the firewall is enabled. Default deny incoming connections, allowed necessary services. Your firewall is now active and securing your system from potential threats. This is a crucial step for better security, especially if you're connecting to public Wi Fi networks. All right, that's it, guys, for today. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please support it with your like. If you're first time to the channel and would like to see and learn more about Linux, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you still have questions, comments, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can. But this is it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.